Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to do a video today about my favorite lip products and kind of my least favorite lip products too that I own. I'm really sorry about the background noise. You're going to hear my son and probably the cat in the hat. Um, he, I usually film when he's napping and he woke up really early from his nap. So he is in the living room and he will be making noise. He's very, very good at that. So bear with me. I'm going to try to get through this quickly and I'm really sorry. I'm going to start off doing my favorite lip products. They are mostly creams and lipsticks. I'm going to swatch them for you, tell you about them. So the first lipstick I want to talk to you guys about um, is from BH Cosmetics. It's their Cream Luxe Lipstick. And this one is in Naked Peach. It won't focus, so I'm not even going to try to show you the name, but it's in Naked Peach. It's a very peachy nude color and I really really like these lipsticks. I haven't been back on the website to order more but I really do. This is more of a summer color to me so I wanted to get fall colors from them so I gotta get back on there and get more. I really really like this color. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty color and the name really is fitting cream lux because it's very creamy it's very very creamy and very pigmented i would highly recommend any of bh cosmetics lipsticks they're very very nice and they're very cheap too i don't remember how much this cost me but i think it was six or seven dollars with shipping i'm not sure i'll have to look it up and i will put it in of course to the video and let you guys know another favorite of mine is of course the nyx butter gloss but my absolute favorite of the ones that I own are Vanilla Cream Pie. But I do have, and I wanted to talk to you guys about this, um, I've never heard anyone else mention this about the Butter Glosses, but there's a couple, and I can't think, if maybe it's Eclair in this one, but there's a couple that are the exact same color. They just have a different name. So I don't know if maybe I'm just not seeing the color shades correctly or something, but they literally have the same top and the bottom is like a fraction of a different color and I just I don't understand that I don't know if it's just because this is a collection these the glosses the butter glosses themselves are a collection piece so they know people will buy all of them or if I'm missing something but let me know I really really like these um, they are true to everyone's word these in my opinion are the only lip glosses I've ever tried that aren't sticky and disgusting. I hate lip glosses. My husband hates lip glosses because of how sticky they are and gross. So these are not like that at all. And the color payoff is pretty good for a lip gloss. So that is it right there. I really, really like that. I wear over a lot of my pink lipsticks. Another NYX product that I really like is their matte lipsticks. And I have about four of these, and they're all my favorite, but I want to go through every single one and have this be a very long video. So my absolute favorite is Pale Pink, and this is actually the one that Stacy got for me. I tried this out, and I'm in love with it. I, I'm a matte lipstick girl, and I absolutely love this. This color is to die for, in my opinion. You have to see this. Look at that. That is so pretty. It's so, so pretty. And it's not patchy. It's creamy, even though it's matte. So it's not drying to the lips. And I really, really like that about these, is that they're not drying to the lips. And I need that because I have dry lips to begin with. And being a matte lipstick lover with having dry lips is not always the best thing. Another new favorite of mine, and it will always be a favorite of mine, is the Too Faced Melted. I just recently got this from Stacy too. Thank you. I love you. I wanted this so bad and because I liked um, the videos that I saw on them, I liked this color right away. I liked all of them right away actually, but this one... So I tried this out and this has got to be the best thing in the whole world. There's the swatch. That is so true on the lips, too. 
And the thing that I really like about this is usually the liquid lipsticks, they tend to move all over your face or get patchy or you have to like go like that a lot to get it to even out. This evens right out. It stays on. And I love this. I love it. I just go buy this. I recommend this to anyone. It's a very, very good item. And it looks so good on your lips. So good. A couple more of the NYX products that I am in love with right now is the Soft Matte Lip Creams. I hadn't tried these out until my makeup swap with Stacey. And I am immediately buying more. I probably will buy every single one they have in this collection. I am wearing one on my lips now. And it is the, the San Paolo one. I just, I can't get enough of these. They're matte, so you know I like them. They are so pigmented. <laughs> They're so pigmented. There's the swatch of San Paolo. When I saw that it said it was a matte lip cream, I thought that it would be a little bit less pigmented. It's not. It's exactly like a lipstick. Like a very high-end lipstick, even though this is a drugstore. And I was so shocked. And, I mean, I was beside myself. I fell in love immediately, and I have to have every single one. I have decided that. Another one that, I mean, I like the whole collection, no joke. But this one in Amsterdam... This one's beautiful. Beautiful. A very, very good red. There's that one. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, so bright. Um, like I told you guys in a couple of my videos, I am a smoker. Thank you for never hating on me for it. I know it's disgusting. Um, but really what I look for in a lip product is something that's going to stay and not transfer and not fade and this does that it's it's a lip cream you know so you thought you would think that it would come off really easily but it doesn't it's almost like a matte lip stain only it comes off like a lipstick if that makes sense these are in my opinion the perfect lip products and they're cheap and they're drugstore you can't beat this new favorite of mine and probably will always be a favorite of mine is my new MAC lipstick and it is in Ladybug. I love this. It is a beautiful red, almost like a cherry red. It's very, very glossy. Very glossy and I like that too. There it is next to Amsterdam. You can tell the difference between the matte and the gloss and I love this. Love this. If you want a good red lipstick that is glossy, try Ladybug in MAC. My last favorite is um, from Rimmel London. It's the Kate lipstick. You guys have heard me talk about this plenty of times. It's an 05. It doesn't really have a name. It just has numbers. It's a very bright pink. And I love it. It's right there. It's very glossy. The color payoff is amazing. Products that I have bought that are like, bleh, they're, I don't care for them at all. The first one is a lip gloss, and it is the Plumping Lip Gloss by NYC. Got this a while ago. I did like it at first until I started using other products, and I was like, yuck. It's very, very sticky, and the plumping effect in it doesn't work that well. So I'm not... I'm not impressed. I do, however, like that the stick is so big. Another one from NYC that I don't really care for is their Violet Shine Lip Color. I got this for um, my $20 makeup challenge with Jessie. And I liked the color. On the outside, the color is gorgeous. But the, <sighs> the color payoff isn't my favorite. It's more like lip glossy. And it's really sticky. For a lipstick, it's sticky. And, okay, this next one, I got it at TJ Maxx. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. It's L-I-S-I. Lissy or something? I've never seen it anywhere else or heard of it again. I got, I have it in Swan Dive. Swan Dive. O2 one. It's a nude. It looks like this. It's like a brownish nude. This, ugh, even swatching it, it pulls the hair on my skin off. That's what it looks like. The color payoff, I don't even know if you guys can see that. It sucks. Um, it's 
not that it's sticky, it's like a clay. It's, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a tarry clay. And it smells like a cheap makeup product. It's disgusting. Another one that I'm not a fan of is the e.l.f. lipsticks. Mostly just this one, but the packaging. The packaging sucks on these lipsticks. The dollar lipsticks? No. Like, you, you really have to, like, pull them up. And, I mean, you get a lot of product, but I, I've broken a lot of these trying to just get them up. And the it's not sticky the color payoff isn't that great it's right there the color payoff isn't that great with this one um, this is in nostalgic it's watery it's really really watery and the moment you move your lips or press your lips together it patches up everywhere last one that I'm sadly not impressed with and I'm really sad about this um, I did show a picture of it on my Instagram. It is the Napoleon Perdice. I think I'm saying that right. The new lipstick that I just got. I bought this because it looked like a really pretty color. And the name of it is my name. It's N-I-K-I Nikki. So I was like, I've never seen a product with my name. So, of course, I'm buying it. And I love the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. Um, this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty color. Um, what I'm not impressed with with this is the color payoff. On the skin, it comes off, is it right there? It comes off pretty okay on the skin. On the lips, it's almost translucent. You almost can't even tell that it's on your lips. So I thought it would be a little bit more pigmented than it is. I mean, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to work with it and try to like match it up with maybe another lipstick or lip gloss to try to figure it out. It wasn't cheap. It was $12 on sale, so that's a little expensive. Um, but I'm not very happy with it. It's not something that I'll wear every day. So that is my lip favorites and not favorites. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.